Welcome to Watch of the Week. This is a series of brief videos about recently introduced wristwatches. Every Monday I give you here in about four minutes an overview, style, specifications, price, availability, and I go from the very affordable pieces to a high end. And Watch of the Week is not a commercial, I'm independent and so I can give you here independent informations. And our topic in this week is... People often ask me what I think about Steinhardt. German brand specialized in Rolex and Tudor homage watches. They are a pain for other micro brands because they deliver very high quality. They deliver modern ingredients like ceramic bezels and sapphire equipped with ETA movements. Not the normal ETA lines, they offer elaborate versions and all this for around 550 euros or 600 US dollars. Very tight calculation I suppose. And now a new Steinhardt popped up in the Singapore based web shop Gnomon exclusively. And I'm talking about the Ocean 39 Marine Black Limited Edition. Let's go over the basics. Automatic dive watch, case diameter is 39 mm, 47 mm in length. 15 mm thick and the lug width is 20. We have a screw down crown, 120 click bezel with steel insert and inside works the mentioned ETA 2824-2. The crystal is a plexi, so we're in the new vintage world here. And the watch is waterproof up to 100 meters, more of that later. Price is indicated with 589 US dollars, which convert roughly to 486 euros. And so there we are with a lot of Tudor spirit here. Note the snowflake hour hand, for example, or the block indices on a matte black dial for a maximum of contrast. Generous amount of superluminova in beige. This together with the typical two hour loom dot above, the typical form of crown guards and an oyster bracelet. Very attractive combo as you can see here on this wrist shot. And overall a rock solid package, but only to order in Singapore, so everybody can make friends with customs. And the watch is limited to 200 pieces. Against expectation it was not sold out the following day. I produced this video in June the 3rd and there were still pieces available, but it's not unlikely that they are sold out now. So why this video? Well, because apparently they will continue the production of this model, but in future without the Gnomon writing on the dial and with the sapphire crystal instead of the Plexi. Plexi has its charm and a certain look, but most people have to dive deeper than 100 meters because of our difficult and dangerous jobs. And so a sapphire is the more secure choice here. By the way, you may notice that many modern watches with Plexi are waterproof only up to 100 meters. And then the similar version with sapphire is waterproof up to 200 meters. This doesn't mean that watches with Plexis have always a reduced waterproofness. You find many old watches with Plexi and great capability to survive high pressure. So it's very likely that the difference appears only when a manufacturer uses one case for both materials. But no, what do I think about the watch and about Steinhardt as a brand? I think this and other models by Steinhardt are great watches for people who need a tough all-rounder with some history and design and function. Perfect for people that consider technology over status. These watches are worth the money, period. But I personally will not buy myself a Steinhardt and do you know why? I don't like the brand signs. The name sounds okay for German ears, but the look of the logo? Mm -mm. Might be me, but I cannot get over this egg with the S in it and that cluster bomb explosion on top of the egg. But if you see this differently, then be quick now or wait for the next batch of the Ocean 39 Marine Black. Okay, thanks for watching. My name is Tim. Let's meet here again next Monday to Watch of the Week.